Have you thought about trying to play Summoner's War Chronicles? But the game's been out for a year. Don't be scared. Download the game. You are not that behind. The game gives you a ton of rewards for joining now. This video is going to be an ultimate guide on how to re-roll in 2023 because it's a lot different from when the game started. If you end up liking this video, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell ding and ding a thing so you know when I post a video. Let's go, baby. First things first, you gotta get through the tutorial real quick. Every time you reset, you're gonna have to do this. It's okay, it's pretty quick. It doesn't take that long, you'll be fine. Now there's two ways you can re-roll. There's the fast re-roll and the slower re-roll with more summons. Really just depends on what you wanna do personally. Here is the fast version of re-rolling. Right now when you log in, you get one free nat five and 10 mystical summons. You also get a bunch of crystals. You have to complete about five or six quests and then you get to this quest to complete it and you'll be able to summon. From here you can use your free summon and get something random and you can also use 17 summons and the transcendence right now. This is the fast way. Ultimately it's all about the transcendent summon right? Now this is where the reroll part comes into play. Who do you get for the transcendent summon? Ultimately depends on what summoner you are. Hell you can even do this until you get a light and dark five star good luck with that but i'm just saying if you have four counts up at the same time the probabilities are higher you also need to know what you're going to get with your selective summons because that can always be guaranteed you will also be getting a selective summon ticket in an event the selection ticket only goes up to the Chakram Dancer and the Boomerang Warrior. So the real question is, who do you get with the selective ticket? Who do you get with your selective summon? And what do you re-roll for with that transcendent summon? I will discuss which monsters I think you should go for. But first, I'm going to tell you the extended version of re-rolling. Once you get up to the part where you can summon, you do a couple extra things. The game gives you 3,000 crystals. And now that the main story and area exploration can be completed immediately, go ahead and complete Act 1. This will open up Saleta, by the way, which can be an extended, extended version of this reroll system. But you get more summons here, and that's what this is about, right? Go into area exploration. You can also instant complete this. More materials, another summon. Also the summons up top, which you can claim. There's also the Summoner's Chronicle Plus in the shop and in the exclusive price, which is for everyone, by the way. I need to do this on my account. If you scroll all the way to the right, they have this secret package. Thank you, Childish Plays, for showing me this. For 10,000 gold, you get more summons. You don't have really that much Sky Stones yet, so you can't get this next package, but that's coming up. You can even level up some monsters and increase the account level of your account. There we go. Get to account level 11 and get some mystical scrolls just by leveling up monsters with the XP pots that you already have. Pop open your events and collect scrolls there. Make sure to check all the red dots. You can even switch over to Saleta, do the tutorial there. Go to her main story, complete that immediately. Seven more scrolls. Complete the area exploration as well. More scrolls claim these you can level up the griffin get to account level 15 you'll have 84 mysticals this is the extended version of the reroll. maybe you'll get lucky on those mystical scrolls it really just depends on how much time you want to invest in every single reroll. now all new players there is a bunch of promo codes you can use to get extra rewards crystals devilmon etc this is one code right here here's a second code here is a third code. Here is a fourth code. Here is the fifth code. Last but not least, here is a sixth code, which may be temporary because of the dragons that are out right now. So if you wait another month or two, this one might expire. Here's some of the rewards from all these codes. Now the question is, what do you want to pick from these transcendent scrolls, the selective ticket and selective summit? Again, it depends on what summoner you use. You want to choose wisely, something that will help you out after the main story. Yeah, these nav fives will help you during the main story, but there's four star and three star monsters you can easily skill up to help you progress in the main story. You're not going to have the devil mons to max out all three nav fives. 
So because you get the extended version rewards no matter what, when you're finally done the reroll, let's focus on that transcendence scroll random that five first for your reroll. Because you can fill your team out with the selective ticket and the selective summon. In all honesty, you want to go with someone that is not in the selective summon and also not in the selective ticket. Hell, like I said, you can re-roll until you get an LD Nat 5. I mean, that might take a long time. But if you multi-box four counts at the same time re-rolling non-stop, hey, you do you. But we're talking about fire, water, and wind. There's two monsters that, in my opinion, right now, November 18th, 2023, that you should try to roll for in your Transcendence Scroll. One is Fire Phoenix Perna. I finally have her, and like everyone knows, Perna is crazy good. Everyone knows I try to fight against the meta and not build monsters that are meta. But right now, there's nothing better. Now, if you're just having the worst luck and you can't get a Perna on this Transcendent Scroll, maybe Fire Paladin Ophelia comes up. I highly recommend her as a second choice. Now, for your Selective Summon and your Selective Ticket, it really just depends whatever you choose for your Transcendent Scroll. So I can't tell you specifically who to choose, especially because I don't know what summoner you are either. But here are some monsters you can select. If you select two out of these Nat 5s with your Transcendent Summon, make sure to have the right team comp. This is in no specific order. If you need a damage dealer, one of the best, Win Vampire Argon. Another great one that's almost as good as Perna is Fire Polar Queen Brandia. One of the best early game monsters, Fire Desert Queen Sekhmet. Fire Ifrit Tessarian, another amazing choice. A new monster a year later that was buffed. Fire Sky Dancer Hawi. I don't know how to really say her name. Hawi. If you need an amazing support, Water Desert Queen Bastet, a staple. The best healer in the game, Water Archangel Ariel. And like I say, I always choose Nat 5s for PvP because you can progress extremely far with natural 4 star and 3 star units. But there will come a time when you're only using Nat 5s. Yes, for PvE, but mainly for PvP. There's a lot of other debatable monsters that can be on this list. But you also have to think about what you can get for free in the monster story. Fire Raven Karambit, which actually has always been good. I don't care what anybody says. And you see him now in the PvP meta. Fire Beetle Knight is underrated, but it is a 5-star tank front line that you can get. Dark Heart Magician, very good in Galagos and other places. And Fire Pioneer, who just got a buff, was still good prior to that buff, but is even a little bit better now. So think about the monster stories. Think about your selective ticket, your selective summon, and re-roll non-stop until you get what you want with that transcendent scroll. I'm not a big person on re-rolls. I'm just telling you how you can do it if you're down. That's it for today's video. Remember, it's not too late to join the game even a year later. You can get up to 300,000 power level in one day. The game is very giving, giggity. And once you get past that either short or extended reroll, you're going to be getting a ton and ton and ton of more rewards. Now is the time to play Summoner's War Chronicles. If you end up liking this video, sub, like, ding, ding, bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!